English Law Group and the last and final day of the 12 days of Christmas and the 12 ways to get your clients to closing. So today I want to talk to you guys about fixtures and what your clients can and cannot take. So when in doubt, make sure that if you are the listing agent, you put that they are going to be taking property, whatever that is that they want to, what they don't want to, they don't want to leave behind. Um, on the contract and if you are the buyer's agent make sure that you list specifically those things that may be questionable as to whether or not they're fixtures fixtures are things that are attached to the property our contract in, with GLAR um, specifically names a number of things that should stay with the property if your client does not want those things to stay you should make sure that you do a counter offer and acknowledge what they are the things that they do want to take with them if you have any notes on MLS or you know agent notes that they're going to take certain things, if it is not reflected in the contract, then it does not become part of the contract. So just remember that if you are looking at the contract, whatever is within the four corners, so the four corners of that piece of paper, that is what is binding. You cannot look to outside things to see what else um, may or may not have been the intentions. So it can get kind of sticky um, if there are things that are extremely expensive and they want to make sure that they're gone, like um, wine coolers, sheds, um, you know, different things like that that are not screwed in or that are screwed in or are fixed, or maybe they're not screwed in, but that looks like they are. You just want to make sure that there is, you are crystal, crystal clear as to what your clients are going to take or what they want left behind because those are surefire ways for the closing to get sticky and for the closing to not be a pleasant experience. Those things are not you know, things you wanna have to deal with the day of closing. So we hope that you've enjoyed the 12 days of Christmas and we hope to see you at a closing table soon. Thanks.